I had relatively many friends in middle school, but when I got to high school, I couldn't make any particularly close friends. Hi there! Sup? I ended up being on my own more often. Eventually, I was categorized into a specific type of human. It was... Introverted guy. Apparently, I fit the traits of an introverted character. Still, I'm satisfied because I get to keep my time to myself and enjoy it to the fullest. That's what I thought, but... Wow, your hair is shaggy today, dude. A unique way to wear a uniform and heavy makeup. This girl who wears a rabbit hairpin and gets involved with me every day. I named her Bunny Gal. I think it's best not to be involved with people like gals, but... You're still looking as sloppy as ever. This gal always pokes me with a mechanical pencil. I've always struggled to understand her. One day, I was heading to an anime shop to get some limited goods. I definitely want to get one! I was so enthusiastic, but... Due to the unfavorable weather and the fact that I had a festival scheduled for that evening, my discomfort quotient almost reached my limit along with the humidity and high population density. A few hours later, I got it! I finally got the limited goods! All I have to do now is get away from this crowd. The very moment I was moving forward through the crowd... Hmm? That's... Huh? Bunny gal? It's raining. And I brought a travel umbrella. Thank God. I thought this would happen. Don't give me that look! It's not like you! Where did your confidence go? Anyway, she's just... my classmate. Why do I care so much about her? What are you doing there? Huh? I'm waiting for my friend. What the heck are you doing here? You came into my view. You're not you when you don't show your emotions. <gasps> I wouldn't be so sincere as to give her my umbrella and get myself wet. I don't mind her being laughed at by other gals. Oh, come on. What happened? What's that towel? Lame. There's something wrong with me today. That was the towel I got by waiting in line. I can't believe I'm giving it away. She had perfect makeup and yukata on. I just felt a little sorry for her who got ruined because of the rain. It's just that simple. <sighs> I've got depressed alone since I got home. The next day, I go to school pretending everything is all fine. Hey, I can't believe you dropped your phone. And you were at the wrong place. Seriously, I'm sorry. The gals are loud again today. Well, I dropped my phone, but I picked up something really good. Uh -huh. I'm going to win you over. So you should try to win me over too. What? Win over? You know, like you do with video games and stuff? The one where you win over a dirty girl. Um, I'm not a nerd and I've never played a game like that though. Shut up. Anyway, that's what it's all about. I'm on a lunch break. I'm eating my yakisoba bread. The bunny gal talked to me with an orange juice in her hand. You always eat that. Don't you get tired of it? I don't get tired of what I like so easily. <gasps> <laughs> I lose my rhythm when I'm with her. I ended up borrowing a shirt from the nurse's office. When are you going to stop laughing? Also, I need you to leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. By the way, I've got something that I never get tired of. This. That important? And isn't it a little chipped? It's important. Hmm, well, I guess you don't remember. What? Did you get it from someone? Well, yeah. More importantly, I did some research on you. What's the point of knowing about me? It's all about getting to know you. Basically, you like to do things alone. You're mindful of others, you're not very assertive, and you're not very good at relationships. You should get to know me more, too. Well, you're right, but why do I have to know more about Bunny Gal? Bunny Gal? Yes, you always have the rabbit hairpin on. I actually called you Bunny Gal. <laughs> I see. You've been watching me. The bunny gal smiled, 
looking happier than ever. You are... You can call me Bunny Gal. Why did you become a gal, Bunny Gal? Gals are so misunderstood, but they're not that bad, you know. They're thoughtful to friends, and they share something exciting as much as they want, and I can always laugh. I used to hate myself for not being confident, but you're the same too. I haven't changed? You and I... We've met before? Of course we had. We were in middle school together. Graduation album! I forget that I had juice on me. I run out of the nurse's office. Wait, where are you going? I rushed to my home. Hey, what's wrong with you? My sister who stayed at home skipping school came into my room, but I kept looking back at my graduation album. There she is! There was a girl who seemed to be Bunny Gal. Very different from how she looks right now. Oh, I have that hairpin she's wearing. <gasps> it brings back memories. You gave it to me. It's supposed to be a set, but there was just one. I think you lost it, didn't you? No, I'm pretty sure that was... Summer vacation in the 8th grade. Hey bro, thanks. I can't use it, so I'll give it to my sister. I drew a lottery at the festival and I got it. Right after that... Hey, hey, what's up with you all alone? Your hair is a mess. We'll go around with you, okay? I'm waiting for a friend. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Everyone's already gathered over there. Huh? Who is this guy? What are you doing? Her hair was all messed up, so I told her to wait here. Thanks. All you have to do is not to let your guard down in a situation like that. You just have to deal with it in a certain way so that you don't get called out. But that would give off a bad impression. Just stick to what you want to do, and one day people will understand. Yeah. I just remembered! That smile. That was Bunny Gal! She remembered about me and what I said! The next day, Bunny Gal, you... Your smiling face. It hasn't changed. You finally remembered? That was my first love. Hey, wouldn't it be fun that an introverted guy and a gal became a couple? After twists and turns, a new couple with different lineages was born.